L'histoire d'Alpine est aussi l'histoire d'un homme, Jean Redélé. Redélé a l'esprit d'un homme d'affaires, mais au fond de son cœur, c'est un coureur automobile. Dans les années 50, il participe à de nombreux rallyes dans les Alpes françaises, au volant de sa Renault 4 chevaux. En 1955, il crée sa propre entreprise automobile, dont le nom et l'esprit évoquent ses expériences de conduite dans les Alpes. Ses voitures Alpine possèdent un ADN de légèreté, d'agilité et de pur plaisir de conduite. Mais c'est la course automobile qui fait émerger Alpine, en particulier le rallye. On entend souvent jouer la Marseillaise, car Alpine remporte de nombreux titres en sport automobile dans diverses disciplines, avec comme point culminant la victoire aux 24 heures du Mans 1978 avec l'A442B. 40 ans plus tard, l'incendie s'est relancé avec succès, dans le respect de son ADN originel. Et aujourd'hui, en 2021, c'est Renault qui fait entrer Alpine en Formule 1, grâce à ses vastes compétences techniques à Viry-Châtillon, en France, et à Einstone, en Angleterre. Avec ses incroyables ateliers mécaniques, l'équipe Alpine F1 dispose d'emblée d'une expertise et d'un succès à exploiter. Sous la marque Renault, l'équipe a remporté deux championnats des constructeurs et pilotes de Formule 1. Et en tant que motoriste, elle compte 12 titres constructeurs et 11 titres pilotes. Pour Alpine, c'est une nouvelle étape d'un voyage marqué par la passion pour la course et par les frissons de la performance pure. Un voyage motivé par l'envie de gagner et de le faire avec brio. And now is the moment that we have all waited for. The beginning of Alpine's new era in Formula One. The Alpine A521, it looks amazing and it's so exciting to have the Alpine name on a Formula One car. Esteban, how do you feel the team is looking for 2021? Well, I've exchanged it with, uh, with the technical team, so I had my engineers on the phone uh, throughout winter and, and the mechanics and, and what I see is, is very encouraging. Um, I think we're in good shape. The car is an evolution of 2020, which is positive for us. Um, the team is expected to get into Q3. Uh, we had good rhythm, plus I got that podium feeling, um, which I loved, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm very keen to, to get that back. Um, on the other side, we had great results uh, also. Um, but what we want is to get them on a regular basis now. Um, we want to aim for even more uh, form across all types of tracks. Um, and we are, you know, going back To, to tracks that we know now for, for the most part and uh, also into a rhythm that we know um, on, a, on a very intense season, uh, which we know we can, we can do uh, based on 2020. So, yeah, now I can't wait to, to get going. And I'm now delighted to introduce you to three key people from Alpine F1 team. Alpine F1 team racing director, Davide Brivio. Alpine F1 Team Executive Director, Marchan Budkowski and Alpine CEO, Laurent Rossi. Davide, in your role as Racing Director, I guess it's your job to try and extract the best from the drivers. Yes, <laughs> just uh, as a Technical Director, ensure the maximum possible performance is extracted from the chassis and the engine. I will ensure that the drivers are performing at their best. So. This means getting to know them extremely well, what they need to perform, what kind of support network, 
and then liaising with technical team to action or create the optimal level. It's a, it's a very much a team sport. Uh, very, I'm very lucky to have uh, two very excellent drivers. Fernando Alonso is one of the most determined sport people I have encountered. And he's an experienced race and championship winner. So he knows what it takes to pull a team together. He also knows the team very well, some faces from the past, but also he has spent time getting to know the newer recruits. So he will be very focused on what it takes to succeed. And Esteban is young, but just as hungry. And is very quick, as seen by his podium in Bahrain, and how close he was to Daniel by the end of the season. And now the age is, is rounding off. He's more focused on detail, but target feedback and less critical of himself. So looking forward to enhancing his strong points and continuing his already strong progress. What are the main differences compared to 2020 and the main challenges for this season ahead? So this year's car is, is an evolution of last year's contender, mainly uh, because the regulations have forced us to carry over the same basis. However, we've worked and tried to improve every area that was left free to develop. And Pirelli has introduced new tyres for this season. They're different from, from last year's. But also the FIA, to spice things up a little bit, has made changes to the dynamic uh, regulations that lost quite a lot of performance to the cars, and we've worked hard during the winter to try to recover this performance. Interestingly, they're actually in an area that normally doesn't really behave in the same way at the track than our tools and our simulations uh, tell us. So it's going to be a year where, beyond getting the new tyres to work with the car, it's going to be very important to get the best collaboration between the people at the factory and people at the track to develop the car dynamically and to allow us to realise our ambitious development programme for the first few races. And that includes the driver, who are an essential part of this development loop. So these are challenges for, for the 2021 uh, season. And certainly we are aiming at building up on the positive momentum we had in the second part of the 2020 season. Laurent, the first Alpine Formula One car is being revealed today. As the Alpine CEO, tell us about the A521. Uh, firstly, it's an exciting moment, a new journey for Alpine as well as for me. Uh, the A521 is based on the fundamentals of the RS20 chassis, and in particular on the strength that enabled us to finish on the podium three times last season and score 181 points in the championship. Uh, the team has made a number of changes to the chassis to comply with technical regulation and maintain its competitiveness. Uh, on the engine side, the one-year delay in the new regulation means that we will be using an evolution of our RE20A unit. There are a few developments with the powertrain and we have worked specifically to ensure optimum performance and reliability. In fact, this car embodies the Alpine identity and its livery conveys our values. The blue, white and red is obviously a reference to both the French flag and the Union Jack, representing the soul and character of this multicultural team that merges flamboyance and skills under one banner. In fact, this car is the expression and symbol of Enstone and Viri one team, united. Motorsport and F1 in particular is at the heart of our strategy to develop the Alpine brand. Hello everyone, this is a pleasure and a honor to launch this 2021 season, the first under our new colors. The livery you're seeing today has the simplicity and strength of a flag. French and English, engine and chassis, it contains all the strength of the team. Behind the wheel of this gorgeous A521, we have a new driver lineup that I would like to say a few words about. First, Fernando Alonso. He has come home 20 years after he made his debut with us. He is back with honors as a two-time world champion and an international star. He brings us his speed, his tenaciousness, his will, his talent, his experience, and his commitment. It is a great pride to have 
this fantastic driver, but it's also a big responsibility. Esteban Ocon is a star in the making. He has given us our best results with his second place in Bahrain. He brings his talent in full ascent, as well as his fighting spirit and cool head, his humility and consistency. We can expect some beautiful podium finishes from him. This is a magnificent duo. They embody the values of the Group Renault and the authenticity of Alpine. They have earned their place among the elite of motorsports uh, out of their sheer talent. We are in Formula One for the long run and we are here to win. We will put all required means to be at best competitive level. Allez les bleus!